Good morning, or good afternoon, rather. We are working our way into the warm part of the day today, and that will help to fuel those thunderstorms coming our way. This is our view right now in Fargo at the uh, lunch hour. We've got sunshine, a little haze on the horizon, some areas with some clouds and some places that have been getting thunderstorms, even severe thunderstorms with that large hail that's been reported in parts of our eastern viewing area, golf ball to baseball size hail from this morning. And right now there are still some storms in northwest Minnesota. They are not severe. That's the good news, but they are still producing heavy rain and the potential for some small hail. Other places seeing some sunshine. Fargo has been one of those spots and a lot of other locations in the valley on the dry side and getting at least some partly sunny skies. So looking to the west, you can see there's some action going on in western North Dakota. Gradually that will pick up for us heading into the further into the afternoon, but we're still keeping our eyes on these storms over to the east. We're looking at Bemidji under some rain, some thunder showers in the vicinity. Vicinity, uh, that are moving eastward. This stretches down into Hubbard County, back over into Clearwater County. And driving along Highway 2 here, you're going to run into a few showers or thunder showers here. And again, there could be some small hail, some gusty winds, but under severe status. And this is the area that's much cooler right now. We've been under the clouds. We've been seeing a lot of rain in these spots. And we're at only 66 degrees currently in Bemidji, some surrounding areas still in the 70s. Whereas where we've gotten more sunshine, where we stay dry, it's 85 in Fargo. 84 in Grand Forks and 82 over in Jamestown right now. So some temperatures mainly in the 80s here to start off our afternoon. It's been windy in Fargo and in Grand Forks. We've seen a south wind just rushing in here along the, the valley. And Fargo's at uh, gusting to 33 miles per hour, 30 in Grand Forks. Other places not seeing as much wind, or if you are, it's as a result of some thunderstorm activity. So today, of course, first alert weather day because of that chance for severe weather uh, returning again this afternoon. We've got some spotty areas right now seeing a, a storm or two, but it really is farther into the afternoon where we get into that three o'clock hour. You can see a couple of cells starting to develop more starting to grow and take shape here as we head into the five o'clock hour. Temperatures at that point, well, it depends if you've got rain or not. That might cool you down up in the north where we're still dry, where we're still ahead of that system. We're looking at some 80s to some 90s for this afternoon, so hot and muggy. But these storms are going to pop here into the afternoon and into the evening. And we're going to start off with individual type storms, those supercell thunderstorms that develop. And those tend to produce uh, some very large hail when they get into Intense. We've got some potential for rotating updrafts, meaning the possibility for a tornado or two, especially early on in the event, and then the potential for some heavy rain as well. And of course, gusty winds with any of these storms. Into the evening, they start to line up a little bit here. You see at 10 o'clock, a line starting to form and then continuing eastward from there, a line segment that couple of them maybe that produce some damaging wind gusts as they blast eastward into the late night hours tonight. This is 3 a.m. The severe weather moving on around that point in time, though there will still be some rain, maybe some thunder going on in the valley uh, still into the overnight hours. So here's our risk again, an enhanced risk. That's a level three out of five. It covers the entire valley widespread severe possible. We're looking at tornadoes being possible. The greater threats will be for large hail in that two inch diameter range and wind gusts to 75 miles per hour. Another wind event potential tonight. This weekend, we get to actually enjoy some cooler weather temperatures into the 70s. All right, thank you, Lisa. Lots to look out for this weekend, especially yeah. today. <laughs> today and into tonight. It's going to be a rough kind of 12 hours here. Awesome, thank you. Straight at noon, we're digging deep into the numbers that show us just how life-saving the COVID-19 vaccine is. Hey guys, I have big peace of mind in a tiny little credit card size. This is something you're gonna want for everyone you love. This is called the OWL. It stands for Open Window for Life, and it does two very important things. Number one, it breaks the window of a car from the inside. Number two, it cuts the seatbelt in this tiny little size. Think about it. Now, if anything happens, you have peace of mind. You're gonna have it with you. No extra time, no extra effort, no extra trouble. It's always there. And the great thing about it is that if there is something that happens, you have to have this near you. You can put it in the visor. You can put it in the console. You can put it in your purse. You can keep it with your cell phone. If you're traveling, keep it with your cell phone. I think about my niece. She's in college. I want her to have one of these in her car. 
I want to know that she can break a window and cut a seatbelt. I want to have my dad have this in his car. I want to have my sisters have this in their car. Somebody actually said after they used this, they said, oh my gosh, this is such a great idea. I can't believe every car doesn't automatically come with one. It is EMT recommended and approved because they come on the scene all the time with things that could have been preventable if someone could have broken a window and cut a seatbelt. A huge peace of mind in a tiny little credit card. And right now, these are on localsteals.com with a very special offer that is going to make every one of us sleep better at night.